So hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am sorry I've been so MIA. It has been an insane month. I feel like February is like the month that feels like a week. Like it's the shortest month and I feel like you have to get the same amount of work done in 28 days or however many effing days it is. And it's it's an, it's insanity, it's absolute mayhem. Um, I had traveled with work last week so that took me out for like a week and now I've just been playing catch up and I have been missing filming so much. I'm like, I need to film, I need to film. So finally I found the energy tonight to do it. I don't know where, I fell asleep on the couch and then I was like waking up and I was like, you gotta film. <sighs> I wanted to show you guys just like my current foundation routine or makeup routine. So this is what I've been doing every day before I go to work. <laughs> um, I will even, I have something in my mouth. That is legit a hair from a brush that must have been on my face that fell and stuck to my lip from my glass and then I just picked it out of my mouth. Perfect. Oh. I am doing a Facebook Live video on the Wet Paint Facebook page for the Oscars as soon as someone amazing, one of the nominees hits the red carpet and I see their makeup and I'm dying for it, I'm gonna go live on their Facebook page and I'm gonna recreate the look and you guys can watch me as I do it. So if you get bored of watching the red carpet or you're just on your phone while you're watching TV, which most of you probably will be because I know that's what we all do, go ahead and tune in to that and support your girl. If this video is not up <laughs> by the time that goes up, which is possible it's not because it is Friday right now, it, what day is it? No, it's Thursday, it's Thursday. If this video has not gone up until after the Facebook Live, I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was good. I feel like I'm like speaking to my future self and like the people into the future. So I'm so excited to do that. I think it's gonna be really fun. Just like a cool exercise and also like a test for myself. It's just gonna be crazy to like look at someone and then try and figure out how to recreate it. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you wanna see next. I'm thinking about doing my skincare routine and then a video of makeup with no brushes because I know everyone is gets stressed and overwhelmed about brushes. So I wanna try and give you guys an option to do your makeup without them. I may also do my all-time favorite like must-have brushes. If you guys are into that, let me know. Comment below. As always, all of my products and brushes that I use will be in the description bar below, so if you're wondering, they'll be there. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah. Peace. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, of course, is prime. Recently, I have been putting on this Tatcha Balance Pore Perfecting Water Gel just because I feel like it's keeping me super hydrated. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Uh, and I've already moisturized. This is just kind of extra moisture for me. Okay, next I'm using this Marc Jacobs Primer, which is the Perfect Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And I have been loving this. It smells wicked good. Um, super hydrating, it looks like this. It's not, it looks like it's gonna be creamy, but it's not. Just work that in. I feel like most people skip this step and I feel like it is the most important step because if your face isn't primed and hydrated, your makeup's just not gonna lay right. It's not gonna look good, as good. So for foundation, I am using, I bought this little mini Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And since my skin has cleared up recently, I've actually been loving it because it's not as full coverage and I kind of like showing my natural skin through it. And I'm just gonna put two or three pumps on a beauty blender. I say how good my skin is looking and then I find this like red blemish under my nose. Mm. But I'm just gonna apply this with my damp beauty blender. See how nicely that goes on? It's really natural looking, it's not heavy duty coverage. So for those of you who aren't into the full coverage look, I would highly recommend this foundation. I normally like to use the heavy foundation, but for like every day, I feel like it's nice because it's natural, you don't look crazy, you're not all caked up. For concealer, I've been using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Again, just because it's light, I have been loving the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's definitely full coverage. Damp Beauty Blender, just blend that out. This stuff blends out so beautifully, you can't even see it. 
it is a great drugstore product. I've been setting my under eye with the Kat Von D, but um, it's like dead, it's done. But I'm like getting every last drip of it that I can. Cause I feel like this is just a better, easier everyday um, set, set, setting powder. Yeah, as opposed to using like a translucent powder and baking and doing all that craziness. Like I won't do that every day, it just takes too long. So this is like quick and easy. Then I'm quickly just gonna set the rest of my face with my Fit Me powder. Another great drugstore brand, big fluffy brush. Put that everywhere we didn't already set. So for bronzer, I have been using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And this is my favorite bronzer brush of all time. It is the Morphe M527. I have recommended this brush to so many of my friends and they are all obsessed with it. So if you are in the market for a bronzer brush, I highly recommend this one. I'm just gonna bronze up around the face. I'm not gonna worry about like a crazy contour. I'm just trying to warm up the face. So I'm focusing in these two areas. What helps me is if you think about it as like a three. So you start here, go to here, and then come down here. And it's like a little three on each side of your face. And you just wanna lightly dust it on. Don't push hard, just lightly dust it. Just makes such a difference when you add bronzer after your foundation, you look like a human. You don't look like a dead zombie. Do a little on your nose so it looks like you've been out in the sun even though the sun hasn't come out in three months. My go-to everyday blush is in the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. It's called Amaretto. You can just buy the blush with I think a highlight. You might be able to just buy the blush in like a little one pan from Becca, but I know they have it in a split pan with a highlighter. So I think it's a it's like champagne pop and amaretto. Anyway, it's this one. I know it seems really dark, but it weirdly looks nothing like that on my face. And it looks great on every skin tone. It's strange. It looks different on every skin tone, but it looks good on every skin tone. And it's my go-to every day. I just think it's the most natural looking. This is my Morphe E4, my standard blush brush. For highlighter, yes, I use highlighter as my everyday foundation routine. I just, just a little. I've been using just a standard fan brush and I have been using this. This is the Skin Twinkle Volume 2 from Tarte. Guys, I'm not kidding. This might be my favorite highlight palette of all time. This one is just showing up so nicely on my skin and I've actually been mixing it with Daylight, this one. So I'll mix these two together. And then I'll use this one, Skylight, right in my inner corner. And I just dab, coat my brush, and then I just go to town. So for everyday eyeshadow, I stole this from Caroline because I'm obsessed with it. It honestly was an accident that keeps happening. <laughs> okay, so she went to Sephora and she created this palette. So she sat there, she said it took her forever, but she sat there and she put these four colors in this palette. She picked them specifically. So the first shade I have been dying for is Orange Soda, Big Shock. This is one of Jacqueline's favorites. Just been putting that on with my Morphe M441. These shadows are pigmented. I die for them. And they're just like, she just put the best combination together. She's so good at this stuff. Ooh, honey, you need to fill in your brows. Hold, please. Then I'll take a more precise blending brush. It's just a little bit skinnier. And I'm going in with this shade right there. This is Dusty Rose. I'm 
blend that out. And then I am taking the shade Gleam, and just on my finger, I'm just gonna place that on the inner corner of my lid. Also gonna do a teeny bit of that on the top of my brow bone. Last step, I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna dip that back into this dusty rose shade and I'm just gonna put it on my eye line as if it were eyeliner. This is just the easiest, I feel like, most effortless way to apply eyeliner, no matter what color you use. Take a flat brush, put it here. It just looks like a beautiful, smoky, eyeliner shade and then I'm gonna put the excess whatever I have left in my brush on my lower lash line look at that so easy last but not least I'm gonna curl my lashes I've been doing this recently since Caroline told me I should then I'm just gonna pop on some telescopic mascara I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of this gloss. This is just from the drugstore, L'Oreal. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.